Fedway. I come for you, all you guys. I'm new Eddie for everybody. Let's go. Hey. go. I do this shit. Hey. I'm the number one pick. They throw you all day. What about guillotine? Moving on. Rhyme battle. Good fight. Please tell me that's on video. I've never been happier. I'm made for a fucking podcast. <laughs> that's dangerous. <laughs> Listen to me, we're at it. Welcome to UFC Unfiltered. Once again, I am completely scattered. Matt just called me. I'm like, oh God, I hope Matt's okay. And I pick up Matt goes, you okay? I'm like, well, yeah. And he goes, oh, we were supposed to start 10 minutes ago. I'm off by an hour. I literally thought I had plenty of time. I'm kicking back. I'm like, yeah, I got to set my thing up. So my apologies to Matt I, and the crew. I got so worried for you, Jimmy, because you're listening to me. I'm the unprofessional one. Stay in your lane. One of these days, you will. that call will come. But as of right now, oh, I'm in fuck. great shape. <laughs> oh, don't, you, don't even play around. No, I love you so much. Jimmy, we're going to have good. a great time today. Yes, uh, we are. Brian Battle. Let's tough bring him finalist. on. Finalist. That's tough right. Finalist. I was a tough finalist. Yes, you are. Well, I'm not trying to bring it back to me. I'm just excited to talk to a guy that was in the house. Yes, you I know? understand. You guys have a very common uh, experience. Can't wait to talk to him, man. I don't like the way he fights. Hey, man. How stings? <laughs> things are good, man. Things are really good. Uh, things with you brian sorry we're late it's totally my fault i'm an asshole and i had i i'm off by an hour so i hate being late so my completely my fault nah you're fine man it's whatever all right you know not not, not nothing nothing uh major going on or anything like that you know all right where are you now i am in my hotel room oh okay so you are you quarantining or you don't have to quarantine anymore no we're in like a bubble so um we can get like shuttles to go certain places but for the most part we're like locked down in this hotel oh okay well how has your experience been so far i mean you and matt share that experience of being in the house and and and, and walk us through that a little bit what has that been like and what exactly brought you there um and i know like you guys always expect to win but did you expect to to make it this far uh yeah i absolutely expected to make oh, you it did? this okay. far of course i I don't know. It's always a, a weird thing to me. You know, it's like uh, the whole reason, you know, you train is so you can, at least to me, the, the whole reason I always train was so I could beat people in fights. And, you know, I train hard so that, you know, I can be better so I can beat, you know, more and more people in fights. So, you know, I never really actually, you know, don't think I'm going to win a fight because, you know, I train to win fights. But um, yeah, no, the house was the house was awesome, man. It was a great experience, um, you know, being able to be around Volk and Craig Jones and, you know, Frank and Joe and the, the, the whole the whole team. That was just awesome. The guys I was on a team with, they were all great guys. So, you know, it was a really great experience. I'm really happy I got to be on the show and I'm, you know, I'm happy that uh, I get to finish it off this Saturday. Hey, for the people that didn't watch the show, to get to know you a little bit better what did you what was the first discipline you started with brian uh and just real quick matt you're a legend man you're, oh you're, you're a legend <laughs> <laughs> brian. Matt, you're a legend man. come on man uh, you're you a blushed, legend, dude, dude. Oh, dude we were just saying that actually matt was just saying that what uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh brian man now I, I listen. I enjoy watching the fight. Now I enjoy it even more. Thank you, man. Absolutely, uh, thank you. And now listen, you weren't going crazy in that house, though, dude. Like, I had a good time. I have all good memories, probably like you, because you're not losing in there. You know what yeah. I mean? I <laughs> guess it's a different experience. <laughs> yeah. For everybody, absolutely. where you like put all this time in, and right now it's paying off great for you. Changed my life. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, was there ever a time when you're like, yo, I'm just. I can't wait just to get the, I need to get out of this place or you handled it pretty good. Um, I think the, the, what was hard for me was, um, you know, I've always grown up around my family. Uh, yeah. and I just, I didn't realize, um, 
how homesick I could get until like I had moments mm. where I could be homesick. And, uh, you know, once again, for the most part, it was okay. Uh, but every once in a while, just like randomly, I'd get hit with like, you know, uh, I, you know, I'd remember something from back home and, you know, I'd get caught up and I'd miss people back home. But, um, besides that, uh, yeah. Um, you know, being in the house, it, you know, it was just like, there were so many things that happened inside that house that, you know, people would pay, you know, ungodly amounts of money to experience. And so just to be there and to experience those things, you know, even changing the tires on the, the big Toyo tire truck, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like even doing that, you know? So, uh, yeah, no, it, it was awesome. I loved it. What was the part of it? Was there anything that you weren't expecting that you wound up disliking the most? Like, oh shit, I didn't think of this part. Um, I didn't think about, well, one, I didn't think, you know, we wouldn't be able to like bring books or anything like that. Cause you know, I was like, I was like, cool, you know, now I won't have any excuse. Like I'll have to sit and read books, but you know, we couldn't bring books and like, uh, you know, we weren't even supposed to like sing songs for copyright reasons. So, you know, that's, you know, that's, you know, I like singing, you know, when I'm cooking some eggs, you know what I mean? So it was, uh, um, and uh, I'll tell you um, something that I didn't expect, which wasn't really a, an issue, to be honest, was um, how friendly everyone in the house was. I expected there to be a lot more uh, animosity and, you know, machismo going on. But, you know, everyone in the house, for the most part, was pretty cool. And that was uh, that was interesting. I thought I was going to have a whole lot less friends in the house than I ended up having. Matt, was it like that for you, too, or was it more aggressive back then? Who, me? Yeah, no, yeah, when you were in. I, I, I was on there with all vets, man. My, well, veterans, man. My school, mine was the comeback, so. No, you know, out of everybody, there might have been one guy who was a little douchey, but everybody <laughs> was fucking cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we set that shit straight right away, got in the house. Like, look, man, me and Drago were like, hey, nobody's fucking with our, our food. No one's doing it. I'm just letting you know. Like, you know, we let that shit be known. But what, hey, listen, is it, how is it back home with people now? Are they like, yo, man, you fucking on the you're on the show well, are they flipping out now that they've seen it yeah no it, it's funny because uh up until recently like uh because yeah people would come up to me and they would say that they're like yo how does it feel to be famous and i was like yo man i'm, I'm just like an f-level celebrity friends and family only those were like the only people who cared you know what i'm saying um now uh it's changed a little bit after the second fight with petrosky and uh you know Ironically, after Trey Sean pulled out, you know, it just kind of like uh, even I, I guess that added more drama to it. So it, it brought even more attention. So, um, yeah, I know. I mean, people back home, I mean, fortunately, uh, I have a really good uh, group of close friends who don't really treat me that much different. I mean, obviously, right. you know, we'll acknowledge the obvious, you know, I'm, I'm uh, on this show, but there are people who always supported me and always expected me to make it to this point anyway. So it's not, uh, anything crazy, uh, for other people, it is kind of weird sometimes, you know, uh, there's definitely people who hit me up that I haven't talked to in like, you know, yeah. eight, 10 years, you know, <laughs> but you know, it's cool. You know, um, uh, I the people you like the, the people that were yeah, hitting you up I, after you know, a long time. It's, it's, the thing is, um, I really don't have too many like beefs with too many people. You know what I'm saying? There's probably about a handful of people I can count that I really just genuinely don't like. And none of yeah. those people have hit me up and it's probably because I don't like them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> but, um, uh, but yeah, no. Um, you know, if this uh, just makes one girl who blew me off uh, <laughs> when I was fat, you know, regret her decision, then, you know, I'll be happy. You were fat. How fat were you? Man, I was pushing 300. Uh, um, wow. Hey, hey, listen, dude, I'm 5'6". I was up to 230 one point. Hey, yo. Oh, fucking meatball. Listen, I'm with you. Don't people treat you differently when you're in shape, though? Isn't they it do. They, Just, you know, the, the worst part is, is like you're losing weight and then um, like, because females are the girls are the worst. They're like, don't, you don't need to lose weight. You look fine just the way you are. And I'm like, no, that's not true. Because now that I'm skinnier, I'm getting way more attention than what you were giving me. Like I was a, I was a nice brother, you know, when I was yes. you know, 280, you know, now that I'm all skinny and stuff, you know, 
you're, you're talking to me a little bit differently. So there is, there is absolutely people treat you differently when um, you got a little extra weight on. The best part for me when I lost weight was a woman finally kept her eyes open while we were fucking. <laughs> that was. Hear <laughs> 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 yeah, me? Right. I asked you earlier yeah. that I sidetracked. What did you do yeah. your first discipline? You went right into mixed martial arts. Is that what you did? Yeah. No. Um, yeah. No. I had um, no background in. Uh, I played football and uh, basketball in high school but yeah i didn't box i didn't wrestle i didn't do karate or anything like that uh, uh i just kind of i i wanted to be an mma fighter you know i thought it was cool so i went to an mma gym because i was like well i have to learn how to strike i have to learn how to grapple so i might as well get the biggest bang for my buck and go to a place where they do both you know what i mean yeah. that's fucking great so wait where did you go and when did you realize that you made it sound like it's so easy? Like, ah, oh, I want to be an MMA fighter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now you're in the finals of the Ultimate Fighter, dude. It's not that easy, but you're making it look that easy. Were you natural at it? Did you get any, like, not that it's a cool thing, but did you ever get any scraps before you even tried it? Um, I didn't get into a whole lot of um fights. I could see yeah, growing yeah, up like when I was when I was young, when I was still in Maryland uh, and, you know, the, the the area I was growing up in was a little bit rougher. You know, uh, if I had to, um, you know, uh, we could we could mix it up. But for the most part, I was a pretty shy kid. Um, yeah. it, it was really, you know, I think, you know, just growing up watching Power Rangers, Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> you know, all the anime stuff, you know, yeah. um, in you know, I always just really, really loved like the the combat of that. You know, I think uh, my yeah. dad uh, he did kickboxing when he was in college. You know, he always you know let me watch like all those John Claude Van Damme movies with him. You know, growing up, and um, yeah. I always uh, tell people it was uh, when I because I always know what the UFC was, but it was when I had watched um, Matt Hughes fight Frank Trigg uh, the Who second time. Oh, yeah. Uh great fight and it yeah. was it was just on it was on spike tv in the middle of the day on ufc unleashed and i had to be flipping through the channels and i saw it uh and you know just like the way the whole fight went you know it was like a movie script you know what i'm saying like uh it was just awesome and you know after that i was a big fan uh you know when i had the time and money you know I, I went to the gym that I'm still at to, to this day, highest stand MMA in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. Nice. And, uh, you know, uh, I went in there and they asked me, they're like, so where, why are you training? Do you want to, are you just looking for a hobby? Are you trying to get in shape? I was like, I want to fight. They're like, are you sure? <laughs> I was like, yeah. They're like, all right, well, you know, I mean, we're going to get you ready. Um, you know, they won't let people fight until they feel like they're ready to fight. So, um, I trained really, really hard for a year, had my first amateur fight, uh, had about 10 amateur fights in a couple of years and then, you know, went pro and, you know, we're here now. How old were you for your first one? Uh, uh first old, amateur I'm fight. I'm sorry. When you first walked in that gym, how old were you? 21. 21. All right. And a year later you're fighting. You, and now the first fight, Jimmy, I'm sorry. No, no, but please. Yeah. I, 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 don't yeah. Know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, let me, I just want to know your first time fighting. Yeah. How, how did that feel? Like your first time in an actual fight? It was bad, man. <laughs> it was, oh man. My first time fighting. Um, because my first fight was at heavyweight. Um, I was 240 pounds my first fight. And um I was fighting this guy, and he was, you know, this big, thick dude, and um we were going and uh it was funny because, you know, it was my first fight and it was just everything was happening so fast. I didn't hear any of my coaching. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't really thinking. I was just like in there just moving. And I got Television. knocked, knocked out, knocked out yeah. cold. Like it was bad, oh, like shit. bad. I got, yeah, I got head kick KO'd. It was like, it went like low key viral. It was, uh, uh, and then um, after that, I dropped down to 205 and I won the next eight straight fights and uh yeah i was like all right cool we're, we're, we figured this out <laughs> well, you know what got you back on the horse sometimes if somebody goes in there they try it out they get knocked out they might say okay maybe i'll try a different you know hobby or career path what made you go back in there 
Because, you know, my man is no bitch. I can't go out on a knockout like that. You know what I'm saying? I wish I could give you a... Give a virtual <laughs> hike down on that shit. Do it. Give a fucking hike. <laughs> yeah! You Fuck know, yeah, Brian Battle. You know what I mean? Dude, it's Brian Battle. Your name is Brian Battle. You yeah. were born for this shit. Yep. Dude, I'm dude. I'm ready to fight right now. Shoot, Me too, let's man. get the car I, going. Have you always been like when you were a big dude when you were overweight? Because the confidence is something you can't just. Dude, were you a confident guy when you were, uh, or were you insecure and you lost weight, or when you were heavy, were you also? Did you have that confidence as a person? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely more confident since I've lost weight. Definitely yeah. more confident. But I also was like unrealistically confident when I was like massive. Like uh, I told you, I, like I, I got curved a lot when I was big, but I was shooting way out of my league. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, uh, like uh, 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 I was, I was big. I didn't have the confidence I have right now, but I definitely had like an unwarranted amount of confidence. So yeah, I would, I would say uh, I've always been a little bit more confident than I should be. But yeah. Fucking work it out for you, man. Yeah, right now, hell yeah. Do you have put now? Have you thought? Now obviously, you have one fight at a time. You you can't think mm. ten things in advance. But obviously, your mind wanders. It's just human nature. So when you think of like uh, next year, this time, two years, where do you see yourself, or how do, how do you see it going? Just in an ideal, I'm thinking this through way. Um. Well, ideal thing in it through way. Um, win the fight, win fight this Saturday. Um, after that, uh, you know, keep getting better. Um, I would like to uh, fight several times uh, a year. Like ideally, uh, about four times a year, I think would be good. So I'd like to fight one more time um, before the end of the year uh, and. I mean, there's just so many different things that can happen. All I can think about is what I can control. So it's like, I just want to get better and uh, be ready to like keep on stepping up the ladder with uh, more and more competition. So you just want to keep going. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it is now you married guy or, or you still you single? I am married. Wow. Married with a baby on the way. Oh, good. Now are you nervous about that? Man. It's it's funny because um, there's just so much going on uh, just uh, from this alone. It uh, um, it's kind of I, I don't really think about it unless it gets brought up. Like people are like, oh, so when's the baby do? I'm like, ah, I do have a baby on the way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's uh, uh, so it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, you know, we got all the baby stuff. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think, um, yeah, that's just that's a whole nother. That's a whole nother thing in and of itself. That's a whole nother beast. So uh, I think I'm gonna get through this Saturday and then, you know, maybe take like a couple of classes or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great time for this to be happening for you though. Like, you know, with a baby on the way, what a great time to have things going so well. Hell yeah. No, it's a, uh, um, it's, it's awesome. There's a lot of stuff going on. It's really crazy, but it's everything that I've always wanted. So, you know, it's uh, all good stuff. Yeah. So it's like, you know, got to do what I got to do to keep it going, you know, so. Hey, hey Brian, besides training, uh, unrelated to MMA, what kind of hobbies you got? You a video gamer, you read a lot of books, you're a movie guy, talk to me. Um, like, longboarding used to be my big hobby uh, before, but, you know, now I'm afraid I'm going to hurt myself, like, yeah. going down, like, a hill, you know what I'm saying, at, like, 30 miles an hour, but, um, now, uh, you know, I would, I would probably say movies is more kind of my deal. Like I like, I, I would like to read more than I do. Uh, I like reading. I always feel like I get something from it, but I just don't do it like I want to. Um, but yeah, movies is generally what I do to like kind of unwind, you know what I'm saying? Last yeah. good movie you, I'm sorry, Jimmy. No, last, no. The last good movie you've seen. Do you remember the last good movie you've seen? Because I want to watch it. Yes. I think, by the way, I recommend Suicide Squad, the new one. The you seen you saw the new Suicide Squad? Fucking good, man. It was good. I don't know why it, people were hating on it. I was like, dude, this is a solid movie. What's, what's your like problem? It. I fucking yeah. like it. So uh, last, movie. last last good movie I saw. Um 
Jimmy doesn't see a lot of movies. Jimmy watches like dirty. <laughs> no, he's not watches- anymore. You, you stopped watching the dirty movies? I had to. It was it was literally too for A, my right arm is too much bigger than my left arm now. And B, I just uh it's too distracting, man. It takes up too much time. So I stopped. I feel that. That's it's too very, distracting, not productive. That's, that's very fair. That's very fair. Uh and I'll probably say the last good movie I saw was probably the newest Spider-Man movie. That movie was pretty good. Like I think that was like an exceptional superhero movie. Oh wait, which one is that now? That's with the, the one- uh uh, that's um, Spider-Man. Uh, it's man, far it's away one. from home, I think. It's, he goes to France with Mysterio. With Mysterio. Yeah, a very good movie. Hey, listen, Brian Battle. When you're getting, you got time on your hand this week. Watch on YouTube. Watch the uh, the trailer for the next one. It's so. Uh, it's. Um, I did watch the trailer for the next one. It's yeah. got the Doctor Octopus from the the old school oh. Spider-Man hey. movie. Well, the- so what, Jimmy? I'm sorry. With me and Brian Battle. No, no, I love Doctor. That was. Uh, <laughs> is it the same actor? Yes. Yeah, well, I think it's a CGI no. one, but yeah, it's the same. Oh, thing. I fucking love him. Yeah. You're taking him, and he was in the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man yeah. as Doc Doc. So who knows if they got Tobey Maguire making a freaking? I'm full of that. Be so that'd be yeah, awesome. Maybe man. They had that kid Garfield in because they're from different Spider-Mans from different universes. Jimmy. The multiverse, Jimmy. I know. I'm so mad I forgot his name because I absolutely love him. Oh, Alfred Molina. What an asshole I am. He's also in Boogie Nights, that guy. He had a great cameo in Boogie. You ever see Boogie Nights? I've never seen Boogie Nights. Uh, it's great, dude. Uh, it's great. Uh, but listen, good luck, Brian. We got to jump because we got Edson uh, in the waiting room. But uh, you're gotcha. really a fun guy to watch, and I'm so happy for your success. And uh, get, get back in touch with us after, too. We'd love to talk to you All afterwards. Right, awesome. And I'm sure Let's you have a, it, a lot of great fights ahead of you. Brian, Thanks. what's your Instagram? Yes. Uh, Pooh Bear Battle 68. Holy shit. What is Pooh Bear? You got a nickname, Pooh Bear. You got a name yeah. like Brian Battle. Yeah. Your nickname is Pooh Bear. Yes. Yes. Really we, can still, we can still talk to Brian. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, it's, an Ed, it's an Edson is not in the waiting room yet. So we oh. can keep talking. Oh. I thought it's an, I'm, I'm looking. I thought it said Edson's nice. in the waiting room. So we can oh. keep talking. Okay, my fault. I want, I want to ask about Pooh Bear. Let's yes. Say, yeah. You had the nickname Pooh Bear. Yeah, yeah. Tell me how that came about. Man, it was, uh, it, I, I did everything. It was one of those things where I fought it, and the more I fought it, the more <laughs> it stuck. How did it come out? Uh, Who started it? Like, I, I was talking, I was talking um, shit to one of my teammates, uh, and this is way back. Like, um, like, I was still, this was before my second amateur fight, and um, he, he didn't have any good comebacks, so he goes, okay, Pooh Bear, because I was still, you know, a little bit heavier. I'm kind of like yellow skin toned ish And um, uh, another one of my teammates, he started laughing. I looked and I was like, bro, don't don't call me Pooh Bear, dude. And <laughs> oh, the moment, that's... yeah, there was just the moment I said that, it just started drawing in the gym. And um, before my second, but I hated it. Before my second amateur fight, I left the nickname area blank. And uh, the the ring announcer, he was coming around making sure that he had everyone's name right. And so he came over to our corner. He was like, uh, all right, your, name, your name's Brian Battle. I was like, yes. And my coach, he leaned over and not so discreetly, he was like, his nickname's Pooh Bear. <laughs> and the, 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 the ring announcer, he was like, he was like, you're shitting me, right? And then he was like, no, he was like, that's the best fucking shit I've heard all day. And so he went out and then during my fight, they made a bunch of Pooh Bear jokes uh, talking about they were surprised. I trained in Matthews and not the Hundred Acre Woods. You know, when I got the finish they're like he did this for Eeyore, Piglet, Tigler, <laughs> you know, so uh, it was fun. And after that, I was like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll roll with it. So that's kind of. That's great. Why it is so great is that you're kicking ass. Like, yeah. It's Jimmy for what? And it was Jimmy Pooh Bear Norton. Yes. And Jimmy went out there and, and, and you know, got fondled. It, it, they would just goof on him. Look at the Pooh Bear. <laughs> yeah. Destroying people. That's why. If I fought 
with that nickname, Matt, they would look at me and go, oh, it's poo because Jim is shit. No, Believe me, that's what, no. I would not do well. Now, here's the thing. You should have never told him that you hated the nickname. You should have embraced it immediately. Go, oh, dude, that's great. And he never would have called you I that know. again. <laughs> I know. I should have just brushed it off. I should have just been like, whatever. But I was just like. <laughs> Don't call I me mean, poo <laughs> But it, it was just like, I mean, you just never know what's going to stick. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's yeah. been a million things people have called me before in my life. I was like, bro, don't don't call me that and it didn't really stick but this one for whatever it was because i kept on fighting it. that's the problem i never i never accepted it i just kept on fighting it until yeah. it got too big uh it's a great it's a nickname travesty. it is a great nickname i thought uh i wanted to be like the boogeyman or something like that you know what i'm saying i feel like uh because it would have been like a 3b sequence brian the boogeyman battle you know what i'm saying yeah. but you know missed opportunities yeah that's all right well, I mean, shit, man. Now it's like the fucking candy man. They're coming out with another movie of that. I can't yeah. stand it. Say it five times in a thing. Candy man. Can I'm not yeah. scared. No, I'm not either. Candy man stinks. Uh, well, the, the new movie looks pretty good. It's made by, uh, uh, I can't remember if it's Key or if it's Peel. Uh, I'm going to guess but, Jordan you know, Peel, no? Yeah, it's got to be Jordan Peel. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan Peele, yeah, uh, he's the one who makes the the horror movies. He directed Get Out, and what was the uh, other film he did? Uh, the second one, I, oh, this is Us. He did, he did Us, yeah, Get Out, Us, Us, Us yeah, and then he did um, the one about um, it was one not too long ago about um, they were, they had like a plantation, but it was like modern day. They were like kidnapping people and taking them to a plantation. Yeah, that was the uh, army one, right? Was that the army one? No, nah, it wasn't a military one. It was a. Uh, you think yeah. it was Spike Lee, probably? I don't know. Spike Lee did an army one at the beginning of the pandemic with Delroy Lindo. Uh, that's probably what it I didn't see I, that. Chadwick one. Boseman, I think, was in that. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was weird. And he shot them like back in Vietnam, like they were adults, like uh, older guys, but he kept them oh, as older guys, even in the flashbacks. Okay. It was uh, the, the Five Bloods. Or, uh, there you go. Five Bloods. That's exactly yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that good? Yeah, it was decent. Uh, the guy who played uh, uh, Senator Davis in The Wire was in it too. Uh, it had it had a good cast, and and one of the, the guy who played Lester Freeman in The Wire was in it. Yeah, it had a really nice cast. You recommend, you recommend See, I pick that up, The Wire. You, rec you recommend that watch that? Uh, it's my favorite show ever. Yeah. Is it, it's yeah. Yeah, it's You're great. Depressing. You're not depressing, but you like depressing <laughs> shit. No, I do. Yeah. Hey, battle. No, you're I'm right. Not my friend, but I no, but Jimmy likes Jimmy. He's not into like upbeat. Like he doesn't like the comic book movies. He doesn't like some upbeat yeah. stuff. Like, ah, even funny movies. It's like ah, I was just, what is this? But he likes sometimes like depressing shit. Or, right, Sorry, right, man. Jimmy. It depends on what it is. I, I typically don't enjoy comedies because they don't make me laugh. But uh, yeah, yeah I, I like some depressing <laughs> stuff. But uh, that was a great. The Wire's great. The Wire is great. Uh, yeah, that's a no. That's a my uh, my wife is the same way. She doesn't like comedies. She doesn't like anything colorful. I think she likes to be stressed out when she watches. TV. That's what <laughs> yeah. I'm just convinced. She just likes to be stressed out all the time. You know, um, I, I was actually the the Wire and the Sopranos were two shows I were on when I was a kid that I didn't watch. That I was asking my dad the other day if I should give a spin. He said, uh, "Big, highly recommended both of them." So yeah, they're great. The Sopranos is probably slightly better um for weird little, not much uh and i would even go back and forth with that but they're both yeah. masterpieces in their own right and you could easily say wire is better you know there's, there's it's like two great great shows and you have a lot of great you have dude you have 11 seasons of great television ahead of you do you know how lucky you are that you've never seen either one i know is that i mean that's that i mean that's like the blessing and the curse of like modern times is there's almost like you're almost just flooded in like quality like really good tv you know what yeah. i'm saying like uh you know like i never watched ozark um i think i i have to watch uh uh breaking bad i haven't watched all of breaking bad yeah, uh you know like i said the wire sopranos there's just so much there's so much stuff out there that's like good you know what i'm saying but i guess it's just all like based on your own niche like what do you want to watch you know what i'm saying and yeah. then especially with like fights on 24 7 now too it's just it is it's, there's never nothing to watch that's right
That's true, man. I love streaming all sorts of shit. Brian, what what else is on your your bucket list? Because I know MMA was one of them, and you're making this your career, and you're fucking you're crossing that off your list. You're doing yeah. great. What else? You have some other stuff on your bucket list? Um, I think right now, um, uh, a big goal of mine would be to do something similar like uh, what Dustin Poirier is doing. I would love to uh, get to the point in my career where I could open. Uh, a gym where I don't have to worry about uh, money coming back in, you know, maybe open it in an inner city, you know what I'm saying? To give kids like that an opportunity, you know, have, you know, give them an outlet to do something, uh, you know, positive, you know what I'm saying? Something that, you know, uh, is a, it has, you know, uh, good uh, impact on their positive impact on their lives. So that's always something, um, you know, my mom, she does a lot of inner city work. So that's always been something that has always kind of like been uh, in the back of my mind. And, you know, it's definitely something where it's like, I want to, you know, go hard, do this, uh, get all the juice I can out of it. And then like turn around, you know, do something more positive, like for the greater community. You know what I mean? What's that? You got good karma coming your way, yeah. Brian. <sighs> hey, man, listen Appreciate dude. it. Hey man, really good to get to know you. And we yes, sir. Hope to have you back on in the future, bro. Absolutely, I plan on being back because you know I plan on winning this Saturday and winning a lot more fights in the future. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man. Well, good luck, man. You're on a great card. Uh, Chikese against Barboza is a great fucking fight. So good luck on Saturday, Brian. Really good talking to you. I'm sure we'll have you again. I appreciate it, brother. You guys have a good one. All right. All right, man. Good Take luck. Care, Take care. Hey, what's up? Hey, Edson, how you doing? Barboza. Sorry, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Good this to talk to you. This is the first time. This is the first time you were on UFC Unfiltered, man. I can't believe it. You're right. That's the first time. Happy to, to you guys give me a chance to talk to you guys. Oh, uh, we love you, man. I've been a fan for years. Reed Harris uh turned me on to you years ago. Um, and, and I've been a huge fan of yours uh, ever since. And I'm really happy to see you doing so well lately. Yeah, you had a, uh, a streak where you were, you had a few losses. What, what turned it around mm -hmm. for you now that you're back on the, you know, you, you won a couple of really, really tough fights. Uh, and two of those were split decisions, which were so difficult. But did you change anything in your training? You know, I learned about my body and I know how important rest and the training is modern now because when I young, I always kill myself, you know. My last week camp, like, okay, sometimes I need a break, sometimes I need a day off, and I feel better than ever. You're looking better than ever. You know, the proof is I really feel, I, I talked to the guy today, I was like, I feel I'm stronger, I feel I'm faster, I feel I'm healthy, you know? I always kill myself when I'm young. Every fight, I go to the fight with something, some injuries. Right now, I was 100% healthy. And yeah, I'm ready. After so many battles, how do you stay hungry? Because again, you've never looked better. You've been looking amazing. Mm -hmm. How do you stay so hungry? How do you stay with the focus? Because I love this so much, man. I really love this. I love this sport. I love training. I think the most important fight, you know, you're a fighter. You know, you never be like, okay, I don't like fighting anymore. But the hard time is in the gym. Yeah, I love to stay in the gym. I love training every single day. I really love my job. I'm a so blessed guy because every day I wake up and say, oh, thank God somebody paid me to do this because I really love this. I really love my job. Have you noticed in all the years you've been in UFC, because uh, you're known, and, and again, I, your leg kicks are, are so... Are so uh, uh, powerful and, and fast. Uh, have you noticed that so many more guys are doing that now in, in the last few years? Yes. Yes. Because the most people don't believe in much in, in the leg kicks, you know, because you don't, that's not the, the, the moving you drop the guy one shot. You need to keep control one, two, three, four. And the people understand that. And yeah. I, I dropped a guy a couple, 10 years ago with the leg kick in my first UFC fights. And you see this, more and more. I'm, I'm very happy. 
<laughs> I, <laughs> I, I love, I love, we, hey, we enjoy your work. Yeah. Your fight with Shane Burgos was nominated for a uh, fight of the year and uh, mm-hmm. and knockout of the year. I've never seen, I've seen a lot of fights. I've never mm-hmm. seen a knockout like that before. It was almost like a delayed knockout. Like you right. got here, it looked like he took it. And then yeah. all of a sudden he didn't. Did you ever see anything like that? And what were you thinking when you seen this? That's crazy because I see this when see people hitting the body. Sometimes in the body shot, they get the body like, oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> but with that long, like a six seconds, you throw the punch and you go down. I still don't understand what happened. You know, I really don't like what happened. I really don't understand, but it happened. <laughs> Hey, well, good for you. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And, you, and your legs are so strong and so fast. Like, is that something you developed in MMA or did you play soccer when you were a kid? And did you kind of always have that ability? No, I'm a runner, a running. My, my dad is, uh, is an athlete. He's run marathons in Brazil. He always run my life. I, I really believe it's helped me a little bit. You know, I'm a runner. I, I love run. I run every day, you know. And I think this will help a lot of my kicks, I believe. And what are you expecting out of uh, Giga Jacquezi, uh, who has, uh, you know, had, had a really good uh, run in the UFC so far? Mm-hmm. Um, what, what are you expecting out of him on, on Saturday? This is a great main event. Uh, you guys were, were meant to fight. <laughs> yeah, I expect the war. It's going to be a war, man. I know he's a tough. He's He's a great striker, great, you know, he's looking great in his Korean MMA in UFC. And yeah, I'll prepare for war. I know he's going to throw some bombs. When I throw some bombs back, it's going to be a, a, a very good fight. I know this is going to be a crazy fight. See, the people that know and they've watched him fight, they know what's coming and they know it's mm-hmm. a great fight. And it's very easy for um, him to get up for you, because you you have the name. You're Edson Barbosa. You're the mm. one with the kicks that are knocking people mm. out. You're spinning, and so for him, he sees you. There it is. There's my goal. I beat him. I got yeah. You you've been there so many times before. How I mean, how many? I don't know how many main events you've had, but it's been yeah. Uh, that's my third one main event. Uh, yeah, I, I I really believe I'm the king for the co main event. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you've been in a lot of those. That's what I'm thinking. So <laughs> does it matter that you're fighting a guy trying to make his name off of you who's just as tough as a guy that's like you're used to fighting guys who have probably equal name, if not higher? How does it feel fighting an up-and-comer trying to make a name off of you? I never think about that, you know. I just look at my opponents, a fight is a fight, you know. I don't yeah. think about like, oh, it's a mile point. He tried to make his name over me because I really don't believe that, you know? You have your name. I have my name. You know, if he beat me, I think my name is not going down. My name is in the same spot. I don't believe it, you know? I don't believe this. I, I, like I said, it's just a point. That's it. Hey, listen, you're a fan favorite regardless of what happens. Mm-hmm. A matter of fact... Now that we mm-hmm. have you here, Edson, mm-hmm. there's a you kick. You're all you're we are Jimmy always says you're always a kick away from a couple of kicks away from getting a title. Mm-hmm. And he actually came up with a jingle. <laughs> Jimmy, <laughs> come back. Jimmy, come back. I don't want to come Jimmy. back. I don't want to Edson, come back. Man. Edson, 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 he's gonna be flattered. I think he's he's such a nice guy. He's gonna be flattered when he hears the song that me and you came up with. So, Edson, do you want to hear the song or? You don't want to hear Never. <laughs> yeah, nervous. Why not? Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Listen, it goes like this. It goes Go ahead, like this. Bad. You, I'm going to sit back and enjoy it. Just sit back. It goes, oh. Edson, Edson, listen. Jimmy, I want to get, get back on here. I don't want you to cringe. I, I just want to say this. <laughs> Go ahead. It goes a little something like this. Barboza. Barboza. This is for you. Edson Barboza, you're only a kick away. Come on, Jimmy Barboza, Barboza, Edson Barboza, you're only a kick away. 
Yep. Wow, that's what I need. I want to enter with this song. Hey, no, that's. I please need you use guys <laughs> my 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 on Saturday night, please. It means the world to me that you <laughs> like that song that myself and Jimmy came up with. Thank you. Look at this. They yeah. love the song. They love it. I. Oh, great to see you, Barupa. Hey, <laughs> coach what's up, my man? How are you? The only coach who is my height. Great to see you, my friend. <laughs> but not, but not as strong as you. Oh, but more technical. Look at you. Great to see you, Jedi. Good, Good to, to see you, brother. Edson, listen, I'm sorry about that. Jimmy actually put me up to that. <laughs> yeah, it's such a beautiful song. Matt's got such yeah. a good voice. I, I thought that you would love it. I, I had to add. Thank you to do it. Yeah, I'm happy. And my energy go back to 100%. <laughs> I just did that, Jimmy, because I know he's cutting away. So I, yeah. I want yeah. to make him feel sure. powerful. That will make him not want to eat. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, I am so looking forward to Saturday yes. night. You know, anytime Edson Barboza fights, I'm watching. And uh, I'll tell you, he has a great dance partner with uh, G. I can't. I say G. Uh, G. No, Giga J. Uh, J. Yeah. Uh, he and and pff, I'm telling you, you couldn't ask for a better opponent. So I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Very happy. Very excited. And I hope to talk to you guys soon. Definitely. Yeah, it's a big fan, man. I'm really, really uh, happy for you. And uh, and good luck on uh, on Saturday, man. You're you're great. Thank take you so care, much, guys. All right. Take care of yourself. Yeah, buddy. Take care. He's never going to come back. Why would you make me do that? You make me laugh. You are funny. You are funny, man. <laughs> oh, you belted it out twice. You weren't going to be oh, defeated. Jimmy. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. We had fun today or what? No, Jimmy. we didn't. I was late. <laughs> I'm panicking about my windows, and you sang Barbosa to Edson. I, if I didn't do it, you wouldn't have any, you would lose all respect for me. Yeah, you're right. I'm happy you did it. <laughs> And Brian, what a nice guy, Brian Battle. Awesome, yeah. I hope he does well. Co-main event. So it, it's a great, great night of fight Saturday. Let's pick a couple. Let's just pick a couple. Come on, get out of here. Pick a couple. Oh, Jimmy. Yeah. Did you just, first of all, I want to just say thank you. Not sure. To you. You're welcome. To the over half a million views. You know what? What the fuck? It's been a day. Let me look it up right now. Dana White looking for a fight. Houston, Derek Lewis joins us for the fights. It's out now. So when you go to YouTube and you type in, hold on, I want you to do that. I want, I want to do this right now because I want yes. you to see what happens. Dana White looking for a fight. Okay, now it's been out. It says one day. And we got, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 599. That's 600,000 views. That's awesome. Jimmy, it's a fun show. But you know what's not? The, you know what does not make me happy? What? That you're not one of that 600,000. That's not true. I'm two of them. I watched it twice. Did you watch it, Jimmy? Yep. Jimmy, are you, Jimmy, how about this? Are you going to watch it? Can you, can yes. you fuck lie to me? Again? Yes, I will. Well, Jimmy, listen. Yes. If you don't do it for me, do it for our good friend, Dean Thomas. I'm going to say Dean Thomas shines in this show. Okay. Not that, he, not that he doesn't normally shine. Yeah. But Dean Thomas... He does a thing where he's a rodeo clown and it starts off okay, but then he gets a little too close for comfort. And you hear me almost like a scared, um, I don't know, individual. Okay. Ah, ah, I get nervous for my friend. But listen, you have to watch the show. That's all I'm going to say. I will. I'm looking for a fight, Houston. Yes, that Houston, the Houston where I won the title. You don't got to always, when I bring up Houston, Texas, you don't got to remind the world. I that's know, what I can't help it. Well, you know, I'm glad you do. Jimmy, anything you want to plug, buddy? Oh, wait, we didn't do our plugs. Just uh, Jim Norton on uh, Cameo, Chip Chipperson on Cameo, and it's uh, on the uh, site, not the app. G Giga? Or Giga Chikese against Edson. I'm going to take Barboza. Um... I'm going to take him with a third round stoppage. Casey has been amazing. Uh, he has been absolutely incredible since he's been in. Um, but he has not faced anybody who kicks 
like Edson Barboza. You know, he faced Cub Swanson, who's, who's a fucking murderer. But I, I think that this is by far the best guy that uh, Giga has faced. And I, and I think that, uh, again, he's fought guys who leg kick before, but he's never fought anybody who leg kicks like a fucking uh, a Clydesdale, like uh, Barboza. So I'm thinking Barboza, the third round stoppage. Wouldn't surprise me if it happened in the fourth, but I'm going with Edson. I, this is the thing. I, I kind of was going to go with, with Giga because I think he's I think he's really up for this challenge. He's going to be up for it. Okay. I think the difference is going to be, because what the difference is going to be, in my mind, I think Edson Barboza is going to add in some takedowns, and I think that's what we're going to say. I, does that sound silly? You think no. that sounds silly? No, not at all silly. I think Barboza by decision, actually. Okay. That's what I'm saying. But I think uh, it's going to be a great experience either way for uh, Giga, but I can't, I can't wait for that one. Uh Co main event, yeah. Um, I'm going Brian Battle, man, I, only because, uh, yeah, I me really, too. I feel like I really like the kid now. I'm gonna it's take not- battle by decision because I think a lot of times in these big fights, these guys are very a, a little more cautious than they would be after a few years of experience because there's so much on the line. Um, not that they don't fight hard, but I think that they both pick their shots a little more carefully just because of the magnitude of the fight. Uh, I'm going to take battle by decision. Battle, the third round, third round submission. Okay. You know? All right, uh, we'll just do the main and come in. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Jimmy, I'm on Cameo also, Matt Sarah. I'm on Instagram, Matt Sarah BJJ. And uh, SarahBJJ.com if you want to get some Sarah shirts and more savage stuff. I'm going to really work on my merch because, you know, I like to do shit like that. Yeah. Jimmy, I'm going to go to my school later and teach some Kimuras. All right, buddy. I miss you. I miss All you right, too. All right, Jimmy, I'll talk to you soon, brother. Yep, I'll talk I'll to you soon. I'll catch you this weekend at the fights. All right, bye, pal. Bye, everyone. Bye.